Hi, primary staff. Welcome to uh, video four to support with your distance learning planning. This video is really focused on support for planning that core learning. Um, so I'm going to walk you through some things to think about and hopefully that helps you when you're thinking and planning for your weekly core plans. So the core learning, um, the why behind this is to help learners achieve our critical learning outcomes in all their subject areas. So the when, uh, this would be four times a week for all homeroom in all subject areas, and then also once a week for specialist subjects. Um, the how of planning for this core learning is going to be the same format that we tested out. So a learning goal, a section that helps learners learn, a do, and a share. And this is for all subject areas, and it will live on a grade level weekly planner. So I'm going to unpack this a little bit more to give you some tips and some feedback um, about how we can all tighten up our plan from the last time where we did a, a first attempt. So when it comes to identifying the learning goal, um, use your own words and use simple words. So we don't want to copy and paste the learning outcome. And there's a few different reasons for this. Number one, the learning outcomes use a lot of technical vocabulary. We want it to be understood by the learners and the teachers. And also there are, uh, tend to be multiple learning goals that live within a learning outcome. So we want to break that down a little bit. Um, so in that planning, you know, the learning goal is to understand or to know or to do um, or to practice, to improve at, to show understanding of. So, um, own words, keep it simple, and see if you can start the sentence with two dot dot dot. When it comes to the learn part um, and having learners access that new learning, where possible, your face and your voice are preferred. Um, so we really want to think about what some of the schools have been saying with the uh, challenges of um, being isolated and being disconnected. And as much as possible, having learners still feel connected to you um, as the teacher is really important. So you might be able to you know, find a Khan Academy video modeling a math strategy, but if it's possible to record that um, from a teacher in that grade level, or if it's a, um, you know, a video explaining an art strategy, but it could be a voiceover um, from you, the teacher, all of that stuff is going to help our learners feel a little bit more connected to members of the community. Um, and then also, whether it is something that you're creating or whether it's something that you're finding, uh, make sure that that link is embedded into a word or a sentence, not copy or paste it. We really want these planners to be simple and clean and streamlined. If you don't know how to embed a link into a word or sentence, come find Taryn or Joe for help. When it comes to planning for the do part, um, try to use directive sentences, knowing that the intended audience is the learner. Um, so, so speak directly to them. Click here to dot, dot, dot. Um, if technology is needed, again, embed the hyperlink. Don't copy and paste the hyperlink, and we're happy to support you with that. For the share part, be clear. Um, in our first attempt, a lot of the share was uh, share your learning on Seesaw, but the more clear those directions are for learners and families, hopefully the better evidence we get of learning. Um, so post a video of Seesaw of yourself, dot, 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 or post a photo on Seesaw, add a voice recording to explain, dot, dot, dot. So really helping learners see uh, what they're posting and why they're posting and uh, how it's gonna be useful for you. And then the last section is just thinking about the actual day plan um, and just summarizing, speak directly to the learner, use directive sentences, use simple plain words, keep it as short as possible, um, and embed any links. Hopefully that helped with the core learning piece. The next video, video five, is going to um, expand some tips and advice for things like morning messages, morning meetings, extension activities. Um, so please feel free to watch that video for a little bit of support in that area. Thanks.